So this is a demonstration of a Dometic 8 series refrigerator and this uh, style of refrigerator can be located in most uh, modern day caravans. Um, coming across the display board, which is already illuminated, uh, we've got the on off switch. We're asked, this is to ask the refrigerator to work off mains electrics. This is now working at the moment currently on gas or we could be using a 12 volt battery supply, which is for a towing situation only. And uh, this is the thermostat. The higher up the gradient, you go with the uh, illuminated uh, grade, then the colder the refrigerator is going to get. And this is just a, uh, a light which will illuminate if we have a failure um, of the fridge, which I will demonstrate also what that's referring to. But if you quickly look onto the panel here, it does say read the manual. It also says about reset, which is what that button is, I was just referring to. Uh, so I will demonstrate what that's all about in a moment. So I'm going to turn the fridge off. Says he, there's the refrigerator off. Introduce uh, the, turn it on again, press the valve in. And what we will always do is go back to the last source it was working from. As I say, in this case, it's obviously gas. But if I don't want it to work off gas, Press the next main symbol in once and press it in again. That's now changed. It's changed to go onto the main supply. So you're actually pressing it twice. Uh, after a few seconds, this panel dulls down slightly on the, uh, on the brightness of the, of the actual display. In which case, what it's saying is it's gone into a sleep mode, but it's very difficult to see it. It has just dropped down now. So if I want to go back to gas, I have to press it twice. Once to say I want to change it, Second one is to actually physically change it. Hopefully that makes sense. So when we're on site, we have a choice of either mains electrics or gas. That's providing we have got a mains hookup facility available to us. This is the towing symbol. If I ask it to work off battery, there's your indication that we're gonna get an alarm given off. It's an audible and a visual alarm. And yes, what we would normally do to clear most uh, failures is to press that button. In this case, because we haven't got a car present, I'm just going to go back over to either gas or mains. And away she goes. The alarm has stopped uh, working uh, and we have got good source there. But as I say, for demonstration, unfortunately, we haven't got an engine, i.e. We, we haven't got a tow vehicle at the front and we're not going towing. So, working on mains at its highest setting. If I want to regulate that setting, come to the thermostat, press it in once, press it in twice, it's now changed and it's on uh, item one, two, three, four, and five. So what I say, uh, that's medium high actually, <laughs> in my, uh, sorry, high. Medium high, medium, medium low, and low. That, the lowest being its coldest setting. That's the, the higher up the gradient you go, you're getting its coldest setting within the fridge. Obviously winter time, uh, you need it on lower settings. Summer time, you're gonna need it on the higher settings. To gain access to the fridge, press that little button down and the refrigerator door will open. Uh, I'm pleased to say that this refrigerator has been on for a period of time and I can assure you that the ice box in here is cold. It's a freezer box obviously and that is a cold uh, location in there right now because it has been on for about uh, three quarters of an hour now while on test. Uh, and we do get a illumination of the cabinet as you can see. The door pockets are removable and you can change location should you wish to. So that's something as an end user to put down where you want them to. Personally, I always keep them in that location there, but you can obviously change those. This is for drinks, milk bottles, etc., etc., And this is part located of the travel catch. That's the hook. So I'm operating the button on the top and that raises the hook. So that's how the latch works. If I don't want to use the latch when I'm on site, I can just push this little tag upwards and it takes the hook out the operation. So when I now close the refrigerator door, I'm just relying on a magnet. If I want to introduce the hook again, just push that hook down. That's uh, brought the tag back out. That's the uh, lever back in operation again, and you can use it on the travel catch should you wish to. While I'm also talking about the latch, I'm gonna bring you back over to where the light illumination is of the cabinet. And on here, you can see a little tag that's protruding out. 
what I'm going to do is push the tag in and then I can pull, pull that little lever forward, those latches forward. What this is allowing is for winter storage uh, to stop mildew from building up in the refrigerator when it's not in use. So if I close the refrigerator door now carefully, you can see I've got an air gap and you can also still see right now that the blue light is on inside. There it is, the blue light's still on inside. So the door's ajar. That's the location it wants to be in if it's going to be in any long-term storage because, say, it stops it from uh, getting mildew inside the refrigerator. To put the catch back, back into its standard location, I'm pressing the tag back in. I'm pushing those two little latches back a little bit. And now we're back onto the hook system. Okay, so going on a little bit further, the manufacturer also allows you to remove this particular panel, this bottom half here and this door here. It gives you a greater capacity then within the refrigerator, just as a fridge, of course, or a larger type unit. And underneath, there's two little catches, which is one's there and one's on the opposite side. Uh, I'm not going to remove it, but basically you pull that catch back. The instructions for the removal is on the display panel here. Uh, it tells you just pull those two little levers back and then this door and base comes out and you've got it then as like a uh, ladder unit. Your choices, your options. One. So just the finally, uh, there's a couple of things I just want to say. Uh, you can find located on the, under behind the salad tray is what I call the data plate. The data plate here has got information about this particular refrigerator and if it's covered within a warranty period we will probably ask you to photograph that because it's very small writing i can't read it from where i am i'm at right now so if you just take it on one of the camera phones uh, a phone camera rather and uh, just send that into us we've got the information that we need and we can put warranty claims forward should there be a failure of the refrigerator please note that uh, this particular item the salad tray salad basket does not have any lid. Uh, we are getting a lot of inquiries from clients asking uh, is, should there be a, another piece of Perspex uh, on top of that. No, there isn't. The manufacturer doesn't provide one. It's not there as standard. The only other thing is just on the door, if you do need any further information, read owner's handbook. Uh, there is an individual pamphlet provided in the, uh, in the pack that you get from manufacturers, the Dometic uh, pack. In fact, something similar to this that you already see here. Uh, but you also will find that the owner's handbook, sorry, yeah, coachman's owner's handbook in this particular case, you will find a write-up on it in that as well. Thank you for your time.